Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody's all uh, not hung over from the Super Bowl. Good to see you all. Good morning to see you, Bonnie, Phil. I don't know if you guys heard the news, but there are technically 17 million, that's right, million people going to be calling in sick today. And uh, I can see somebody already starting to call a little sick into the cyber group, which is not bad. You know, listen, what's nice about this is you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> it looks like a lot of people are uh, actually taking it off. Yep, absolutely, Grant. It's unbelievable, right? So uh, anyway, um, like I told you what was going to happen on Friday going on to this morning, um, it, you know, it, it's like almost like a double whammy, a triple whammy. I mean, you had basically a lot of people uh, were – it was the end of the month, and a lot of big shots were took off, and a lot of people actually from the big party, you know, from last night. I know a lot of people from around the world that are logged in right here probably don't know that, but it's like the it's it's literally the biggest event of the year here in the United States, and a lot of people don't realize that if you're from another country, just don't get it, uh, other than if you probably follow soccer and the World Cup or whatever it is. But it's 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 a pretty remarkable event, but. What happens is it's going to affect the stock market. Um, there's really not that much going on since we logged in at 8 o'clock this morning. Now, there are a few things that are popping right now, and it kind of got a little bit of a late start, which we're going to check them out. Um, there were a couple of good ones out there that are making some nice moves. And I know some of you guys are actually trading them. Was it the ARTL? I think that's the one you guys have been watching Actually, that's the one that's actually doing pretty decent. But they're um, Ben uh, VR. I found that one too, Ben. The uh, that one's also on my watch list. The the VXRT. Yeah, we're gonna check that one out also. But before we get started, guys, let's talk about what happened yes on Friday. For some of you missed out. Now remember, we wanted to kind of clean uh, clear out the month. January actually was a pretty fun month. You know, I'm seeing a lot of the Corona stocks. Uh, pharma, uh, virus stocks that are actually taking a little bit of a hit today. Um, some of them doing pretty good. I don't know. I mean, it's still it's it's still a major concern, but I think it's, they're going to take a little step back a little bit. They went up so much. Remember, there's a huge short squeeze on it. So we'll check those out. First of all, let's talk about the LK. Holy crap. This thing got smoked. Smoked. Typed in the wrong window. On Friday, holy crap. This thing just literally got crazy crushed look at that thing 37 down to 28 down literally almost like ten dollars this thing remember it we had a huge run-up this thing went all the way to 50 this thing it, it, in uh what a month it went from 20 to 50 and lost it more than half of it in like three days so this stock also took a huge major hit obviously because of the same reason what's going on in china but uh, all those China stocks took big hits. But anyway, it's got a little bit of, had a nice little pop, a little bit of volatile for some of us. You know, you got to be a little bit more of, an, of, of a little bit of a good trader, a phase three trader, uh, or up to trade that stock. BIMI, another one that made a nice move. A lot of you remember the stock we traded in October, went from $2 to $12. One of our, oh, let's say 1,000%, 500% movers in one day. Anyway, she moved pretty nicely on Friday. You could see that that from 10 o'clock in the morning, she went from 3 to about 5, did a little bit of a shake in the middle of the day and had a nice little pop. Uh, the nice afternoon runs were like NVAX. That one, cheap little stock, that one had a nice little run and a big pop in the CODX, just, just like right in the afternoon. Just kind of just talking about what happened yesterday uh, on Friday for some of you who missed it. Now, what's going on this morning? Listen, it's the beginning of the month. Uh... We ended that we ended, which is very rare to end the last day of the pay period of month on a Friday, more or less. But uh, February, the last day of the pay period, the crap is going to be on Friday again. All right, that's great news. All right, twenty ninth, we have the twenty ninth, so we got we have four weeks in this month's pay period. So uh, listen, what you have to do is what we teach you in class. Look at your daily journals. You should you should update your monthly journals and see if you're ready to go to go to a level two to a level three. If you're still not successful, you're breaking even. You want to stay where you're at. But that monthly journal is a very critical time of you to re review your where to go to start for today. 
Remember, there's no reason to jump ahead and start going crazy. And you know what? If you're losing money, that's okay. Just take a step back. You know, I was talking to somebody over the weekend, and uh, uh, one of my one of my students, was a friend of mine, lives locally. He says, "You know what? Um, I didn't have a really good month last month, and it, with all the stuff going on." I says, "You know what? That's okay. It happens. Not everyone has a great month. Just take a step back. That's all. Go go back and." Trade less shares, that's all. But don't try to be even because you're going to get yourself in trouble. Remember, the biggest thing we teach you at Cyber Trade University is not how to make money. It's how to control losing it. It's the losers everyone has a problem with. All right, so let's go through the watch list, what we got. We got, because um, there were a couple of things that are popping up. I'm not too crazy this morning uh, on some stocks, but we got a few things that are moving. Let's start off with the SMDL. Uh, this stock took a nice little hit on, fr on Friday. She's making a little bit of a comeback. She's got some good volume. Got a little bit of big spread right now. This one's not terrible. I want to keep an eye on this one. Maybe we'll make a little bit of comeback. ARTL is the one you guys have been watching all morning. A lot of orders out there. Look at the level three on the right. I mean, you got, I don't see any big iceberg orders, but we definitely have some, uh, a nice little pop over here. You can see the stock is basically testing these resistance levels right up here uh, back in, uh, what is that? Is it, uh, August? It looks like so nice little pop right there. Nice little move. She's got really, really nice. Hold on. Let me fix this. It doesn't look that pretty. Uh, she's making higher highs. She's got some nice little shakes right there, but she does got some 40 cent moves. So be very careful of that one. By the way, PCG has been a really, really good swing trade. So I don't know if you guys are still holding on that stock, but PCG, good for them. You know what? Stock uh, took a huge hit, all out the forest fires and uh, make a little bit of comeback. It's kind of hard to day trade this stock right now. It was fun when we were watching it when it went in July when it went from 20 all the way down to five. But um, she's been, you can see she's making higher highs. She filled in the gap. She was a really good buy if she broke 13 when she uh, broke that gap. But looks like the stock's gonna, probably going to go start testing right around. You know, right now it's at that resistance levels back in, uh, in June and July which is that support levels. Now it's testing. If it breaks, it could go hit 18. But nice little swing trade right there. Remember, guys, we just don't day trade here. We also swing trade. ACB, another one that's moving this morning. Not t Trades a lot of shares, but ACB, you know, she's got a little bit moved. She took a major hit. She looks like she started back off now. Uh, I might be a little skeptical. I might throw this on part two. I might put this as a phase, as a... Uh, Phase two, I would say, on the stocks of the trade. I might, I might, I might just lost my mojo on this one right here. I was, I was a little excited when I saw it this morning. Good beginner stock for beginner traders, but I don't know what happened. Looks like she just started reversing. Uh, LK once again took a major hit on Friday. I would want to keep an eye on it. For some of us, looks like she was at 31. She started making a little bit of a comeback at 33. Always like to trade stocks that do that from the day before, and the VXRT. So this stock, just be very, um, be very careful. It, you know, seeing, I'm seeing all tenths of a penny in that. It is a little bit of a penny stock, so be very careful of, of trading this one. But she is moving pretty nicely right now. She capped up a little higher. She's at a buck 60. Dropped that way to dollar 20, but she's starting to go back up again. So this one is not that bad. Gene and uh, Ben already made... Uh, Gene already made 11 cents on it. Good for him. There you go. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Not bad to start the morning. Ben made 7 cents on it. You know, nice little cheap stock. And what's nice about this stock, you could trade a lot of shares of it. So, and it's not a problem getting in out of it. So listen, you could see it's not really that great out there. You know? So don't, and that's okay. All right? That's okay. It's not, it's not always um, rainbows and puppy dogs every morning when we trade, but this is a typical Monday, and what makes it even worse, it's a day after Super Bowl, so a lot of people are also not, uh, there's not, not that much action out there, so we got our list, listen, doesn't mean the market's closed, it opens up in about 15 minutes, we always find new stocks, it's just, for this morning's pre-market, not the greatest list, so we'll just work what we got, all right guys, so listen, we got a lot of new members that are going to be starting today, but look forward to look forward to having you in the room. All I can tell you is this: please do not trade anything we trade because we did not teach you. Your goal is the reason why you're here is to see if trading is for you. 
And uh, and if that's what you want to do, then we'll find out. You'll we'll talk at the end of the week, and we'll see um, how to kind of make a career out of it. Or hopefully, some of you are going to realize and be thankful that you came in here and said, you know what, holy crap, good thing I didn't put money onto it because uh, I would have blew up my account. And believe me, that happens a lot. So let's see if it's for you or not. So just look, listen, and learn. And the cyber traders, like I always say, see something, say something in the trading room. We always find new ones. Remember, that's what we train what to do. Be team, be a team effort. Let's go out there and win the Super Bowl ourselves today, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll start commentating in about 15 minutes.